before you attempt to get a title for a vehicle using an abandoned vehicle process, take a look at some of these examples that we'll pull up on the screen. You probably don't want to file for an abandoned vehicle if you want to keep the vehicle. In almost every state or jurisdiction, filing for an abandoned vehicle makes you sell the vehicle or have it towed by a towing company in the area where the vehicle is and the towing company gets to sell the vehicle. In some cases, it's impounded by the police department. Once you file for an abandoned vehicle, it may prevent you from ever getting a title for that vehicle. So if it's something you've purchased or somebody traded for you and you just didn't get a title, the first thing that comes to mind in many cases is, I wanna file for an abandoned vehicle to get a title. It's a very common request. It's one of the most common first statements that comes from the callers that we get to our offices is, I wanna file for an abandoned car. And in most cases, the car is really not abandoned on their property. In most cases, it's actually something they purchased or somebody left there or somebody actually traded them and they just don't have a title and they think that filing for an abandoned vehicle is the way to go. So let's took, take a look at a couple examples of states and cities and counties of how they deal with abandoned vehicles. Here is a perfect example uh, right here about a Washington state abandoned vehicle process. First question, can I sell a vehicle that's abandoned on my property? It says, by law, you cannot sell a vehicle on your property. Best option is to have a registered tow company remove the vehicle. Can I claim ownership of an abandoned vehicle on the property? It says yes, but look at what it says afterwards. You have the following three options to claim a vehicle. One, contact your Department of Licensing to obtain the last owner's name and address. Contact the last owner and request they sign over the vehicle to you. So if the last owner will get a new title and sign it over to you, you can get a title, but that's probably not what you were thinking of doing. Number two is you can have a registered tow company impound the vehicle, and then you may be able to purchase the vehicle when it's put up for sale or auctioned by the tow company. So it's not as simple as just finders keepers. You have to get it towed and then buy it from the tow company. Number three is a last resort. You may petition your local court for ownership. If you go to your local court and you file a court case, it's called a magistrate title or a court order title, and you give that court uh, all the details about the vehicle, they may issue you ownership. But in reality, that process will probably take four or five months, and there's no guarantee that you'll get the title. So that's one example that we see very clearly in Washington. Well, is that common in other areas? Let's take a look at, here's Massachusetts. Abandoned vehicles. The vehicle has been left on a public or private way without the permission of the owner is considered abandoned. The city or town police may dispose of the vehicle after obtaining ownership. The owner of the property can't own the vehicle. It's not finders keepers. You have to have a tow. Again, that's probably not what you're looking for now. Be aware that if you are looking to get a title and own the vehicle, there's other ways of doing it. This video is not about those other ways. Check out our website, cartitles.com, or some of our other videos to look at how you can actually get a title for a vehicle. This video is about why not to file for an abandoned vehicle if you want to keep the car or truck or motorcycle. If you want to keep it, don't say it's abandoned because you won't get to keep it. Here's Texas. Texas says a person or entity needing to dispose of a vehicle may apply to the certificate of authority, DMV, um, to transfer it to a junkyard for the purposes of crushing and destroying the motor vehicle. That's probably not what you want to do, right? So again, if you want to own the vehicle, don't file for abandoned. Here's another, or here's Texas. Here's the application for authority to dispose of a motor vehicle to a demolisher. Basically it gives you the right to send it to a junkyard, right? Also, keep in mind here, state law makes falsifying information a felony. So don't monkey up these forms. Don't do it the wrong way. Don't fill out the wrong forms. Make sure that you don't file for an abandoned vehicle unless you truly want to just dispose of it. Because once you put that filing in, now that vehicle is going to be flagged as abandoned and it will be difficult to get a title. Here's the city of Chicago. What do they say about abandoned vehicles? It says tow trucks owned by the city of Chicago or private contracts 
perform abandoned vehicle removals. All right, so basically it gets towed. And then what happens? If it's not redeemed by the owners, it's sold for scrap. So that's an abandoned vehicle in Chicago. Here's a form for New Mexico. Special title requirements for mechanics, landlord storage, or abandoned vehicle lien process. What do you have to do? Lien claimant must submit the following documents. Copy of repair work order. Mechanics lien only. That means you have to be a licensed mechanic. If you're a landlord and you own a property and have a lease with somebody, you may be able to do it. You have to get an NCIC clearance that you have to file with the police to get a background on the vehicle. Even then, you have to advertise a public sale. You can't just own the vehicle. You have to sell it at a public auction. You have to post an ad in the newspaper. You have to determine the date of the sale. Um, you have to wait 34 days from the day you publish the sale. Then you have to sign another affidavit that it's been resold. This could take two or three months, and you have to sell it. You can't keep the vehicle. Last is Colorado as an example. Again, almost every state, county, city is the same thing. What do you have to do for an abandoned vehicle? It's a private tow requirement, meaning that you have to call a tow company. They tow the vehicle, and then what the tow company needs to do is they have to uh, contact law enforcement to say the vehicle was picked up. And then within 10 days, they have to um, make sure it's not reported stolen. They have to do a DMV check. They have to send the notice to the owner within five days, within five days. So if this vehicle has been abandoned for more than five or six days, you may not be able to do this. Then you have to wait 30 days to have an auction. And then if it's, it's not sold at the auction, you have to um, wait up to 60 days or between 30 and 60 days uh, to do another title search. Then you can do the sale of the vehicle in a commercially reasonable manner, kind of like an auction, right? You have to put a copy of the newspaper advertisement in with your um, notice to get a title. And then what kind of title are you going to get? You're going to get either junk, parts only, or no title, right? This is just a disposal of the vehicle. And then once you, uh, you're on step six, the following is required when selling a vehicle with an appraised value more than 350. You have to fill out all these forms, right? And this only gets you a transfer of the title to an auction, not for you to own it. And then this is only done by a tow operator. So to review, if you have a vehicle that is rightfully yours, that was purchased by you, Maybe you lost the title. Maybe you lost the paperwork. You need, you need to get a bill of sale. Maybe there's some other documentation that's missing. Don't jump to a abandoned vehicle thinking you can file a lien, maybe charge storage or something else, because unless you are a licensed automotive facility, it's not going to work. There are other legal, faster, cheaper ways to get a title. Again, our website, cartitles.com, will have that, or some of our other videos will describe the details on how to get the title for a vehicle abandoned sounds like a good idea it's the first word out of a lot of people's mouth when they're trying to get a title but it's usually not the way to go and there may be some jurisdictions that do allow for it but in most cases one thing to keep in mind is vehicles are not finders keepers if you are a legal licensed repair facility and have a signed repair order maybe a different story if there's just a vehicle that somehow you acquire that you need to get a title for look at other methods, they'll be much, much more simple and effective to do rather than an abandoned vehicle.